Hi everyone, I'm Dave Bovin and I serve as the Dean for the School of Business and Technology at Chipola College. We're excited to have some great guests with us this week for our weekly Tech Talk. Today we have Andrew with us and Keisha. Welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. Thank you. So we're excited about this time on Chipola College, our campus, both face-to-face -face environment and our online environment. We have classes that range from accounting to marketing to management to engineering, a whole host of topics. We're excited about students. Whatever brings them to Chipola College, our goal is to get them a chance to pursue their dreams and to continue to work with them throughout their professional career. Now, a great example of that is Andrew. Andrew came to Chipola College with an interest in a workforce area of focus, welding, yes, sir. and um, completed his area of interest and is back pursuing his goal of a bachelor's degree in engineering management. And so Andrew, it seemed like a good time to kind of talk about your journey here at Chipola and your areas of interest. You have some hobbies and some activities and we'll bring in Keisha in our discussion as well. So. Yes sir, the, um, my main hobby is photography and some uh, little journalism, just being able to talk to people and get a feel of the crowd or the situation to be able to tell the story through the pictures. So um, photography, is it something you've always done or something you just worked on recently? It's, it's always been a hobby because of family and taking portraits and around the house just trying to uh, capture moments. That's neat. So you have some pictures you're going to, we'll share throughout our, our weekly uh, tech talk uh, session that we have right now. And so you, some of your pictures that you'll be showing the audience are? It's, it's uh, mostly nature pictures where I'm just trying to capture uh, symbolic um, uh, settings where you're catching the sunrise at the beginning of the day when it's quiet or at night when the sun's uh, setting. Sorry. <laughs> that seems like a great time to kind of get a, a picture where you don't have a lot of interruptions. Yes, sir. And you get to set it up and uh, go out and find different spots and different talk to different people and just find the good places to capture the moments. That's exciting. And your thought of welding, where you actually had this passion for welding, completed your certificate and you're actually employed in that and are looking a, for greater opportunities, which brings you back to the bachelor's yes, degree. Yes, it does. The, uh, the, the thing that led me to being welding was having an interest in, as a mechanic and wanting to learn just different uh, ways of, to add to the toolbox, per se. And right, with your bachelor's uh, of science and business administration with the focus on engineering management that you're pursuing now, it gives you the chance to work as a supervisor yes, and sir. to Absolutely. really have That'd no awesome. limit. That'd be awesome. Well, we're so fortunate to have you in our program and to have you as a continued stakeholder here at Chipola College. Yes, it's exciting. So you're also involved in a club. And we yes, have Keisha, who is the president of BSU, Black Student Union. So share kind of the initiatives you guys are working on. Well, um, right now we're doing, we just recently did the um, El Paso, Texas cards to the elementary students and we basically sent cards off to let them know, you know, that they're not alone due to the El Paso, Texas shootings that just recently occurred. And then we also have a lot of several upcoming events this month. We have the $100 gift card raffle tickets for a dollar and um, that's fundraising for our annual leadership convention. And then we also have the Diabetes T2 program where we sponsor um, the diabetes program for promoting um, health and wellness. And then we also, we also have the voters registration drive, which is next Wednesday, and we'll be advocating for human rights. And we're also taking donations for Hurricane Dorian that we'll be sending off to the, Baham the Bahamas later on this month. Well, you guys do great work. We have numerous clubs on campus and the school business we have a PBL, Phi Beta Lambda, and uh, we have Miss Bethel and others that work uh, with the students. Uh, they, they compete locally, nationally. Yes, uh, Black Student Union, you guys uh, work with Miss Linda Morales and Dr. Yes, Spires, sir. Yes, sir. do a lot of great work. <laughs> That's exciting. Yeah, they do a lot for us. Yes, and Miss, uh, sorry, Miss uh, Morales, she's actually from El Paso. So as we were, as I was writing some of the cards, she gave me ideas of just like uh, stars on that mountain, because in El Paso they have the great scenery with the star kind of uh, lit up on the side of the mountain. So she gave us a little bit more information about the city and the situation to be it's, able to touch them. It's so valuable. We have such a great opportunity here at Chipola College to really pursue our passion and to be able to share our, 
opportunities and to share our interests and to show others that, hey, if you have that goal, sometimes life may have some challenges. You know, we've gone through Hurricane Michael, but you can proceed, you can work through, and you can come out even more prepared and able to help others. Yes, sir. Kind of share what we've learned. Yeah, inspire others and just well, keep it motivating you. Yeah. Well, we're excited to continue to bring students into our weekly sessions, our opportunity to share all their interests and activities on campus. And it just really touches my heart to see students who, you know, whatever brings them to Chipola College to find their area of interest and then to stay engaged and then actually then to serve like yes, you guys sir. have demonstrated and are demonstrating. Yes, so. so thanks for stopping by. Yes, thank you for thank having us. Well, thank you, everyone. All right.